you wondered how you could have found such a treasure? The gods have a plan for you. A destiny. I've seen its power with my own eyes. Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Thanks to a magic dagger that allows its user to go back in time and change history, this may be the first movie that effectively erases virtually its entire storyline by the very last scene. I'd wager that not many people are going to remember much of this corny, highly derivative would-be franchise derived from a video game, even if it carries a reported $200 million price tag. Prince of Persia will be tolerable for many above the age of 10, its apparent target audience, because of its more amusing aspects. Chief among them is surely the casting of erstwhile emo boy Jake Gyllenhaal, arms buffed out to there and sporting a posh Oxbridge accent in the title role. Thankfully, neither Gyllenhaal nor Atherton take this nonsense any more seriously than absolutely necessary, and they almost make you believe they have chemistry together. Anyone expecting much in the way of romance, though, will be disappointed. As I noted, this rather chaste movie seems to be aimed at 10-year-olds. This movie got a go-ahead from an administration at Disney that we sent on its way last year. I have a sneaking feeling their successors at the Mouse House wish they had a magic dagger that would allow them to go back and erase this movie. So I'm giving this two stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. <laughs>